my dear friends welcome to this video in this video i'll be discussing the concept of concurrent deviation which is also known as a coefficient of concurrent deviation so we are working on correlation and to find out the coefficient of correlation there is one method known as a concurrent deviation method this method is one of the simplest and the quickest method simplest in the sense of the calculation is simple and so fast that you can get the answer very quickly but as we know with some advantages we get the disadvantages along with so since it is quickest in statistics no quickest method is considered to be perfect since it is quickest we can calculate the value but we cannot rely on that value completely since to get the speed we must have ignored many thing so over here the concurrent deviation we cannot take the magnitude the value very much seriously if we cannot take the value seriously why to calculate this i would say if we cannot take the value seriously but based on the sign at least we can decide whether it is positive or the negatively skewed so the value over here as it is a coefficient of correlation lies between minus 1 to plus 1 and both of them are included as it is coefficient of correlation it is also denoted by r and the formulas goes like this the formula for the concurrent deviation coefficient correlation r is plus or minus under root again plus or minus 2c minus n by but you can observe over here you can say plus or minus plus or minus twice what does it mean if while calculating this 2c minus n by n if this value came out to be negative if this value came out to be negative and if you have to take the square root we cannot take the square root of negative number then what you should do you should take this minus side outside calculate this with the positive number and whatever is the answer just write it in the minus so this is statistics not a mathematics so over here what we write we write plus or minus plus or minus what does it mean it means that if it is a plus inside the square root write plus if it is minus inside the square root write minus right and over here what is this c and n this n first of all n means how many observation that you are comparing and this c means out of this n observation how many observations are there which are having concurrent deviation as per the name suggests c means how many have the concurrent deviation what does concurrent means concurrence means together they are deviating together they are deviating means what that means if one is increasing other is also increasing if one is decreasing then the other is also decreasing right so in this case what is c c is the thing but the number of concurrent deviation and that is basically the total number of positive sign in dx dy you will understand this part once i explain you the example but for now you remember it is number of concurrent deviation and n is what and n is the thing but the pair of deviation how many you are comparing n is nothing but total number of deviation that you are comparing out of which wherever you have a concurrent the same deviation that is nothing but c let's understand this by an example suppose if i consider this as my example if i have the years from 2003 to 2009 i have series of x values and y value first thing i go for the values of x what is an observation in the values of x what we have to check we just have to check the concurrence concurrence means what uh, both are having the same kind of deviation so first i do deviation for individuals so what is a deviation in x deviation means whether it is increasing or decreasing 
if we see the first value in the first value for the year 2003 it is 150 but from the previous year whether it is increasing or decreasing we don't know so i cannot say anything for the first year but for 2004 i can see it as increased if it is increasing i'll write plus sign plus means it is increasing for 2005 if i observe from uh, 154 to 160 again it is increased so plus so for 2006 if i say can see it is increasing so plus now here it is decreasing so minus i should write here it is increasing so plus i will write again it is increasing so plus i will write so if i tell you how many plus sign i have i have total five plus sign one minus sign so if i say how many comparison i have done i have total done six comparison this dx means deviation in x for the first year we cannot write anything we cannot write anything so total there are six comparison because I have total 6 signs. So that means total there are 6 comparison. So the value of n is 6. And for the first plus means po positive increasing and minus means decreasing. Similarly, I will do for y. From the first year I cannot do anything. But for the second it is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. Now this over here is increasing, decreasing, decreasing. So what is deviation in y? The deviation is y is minus, 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 plus, minus, minus. Now I got the deviation for both. I will think about what is the concurrent deviation. For the concurrent deviation, what I have to do? For the concurrent deviation, I just have to see whether both are same or not. To check it very easily, what we do? We just multiply this two sign. So if it is plus, this is minus. If I do plus minus, it is minus. So it is not concurrent. It is not concurrent, right? It is plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus. What do I observe? There is no concurrent deviation. So how I got this? There is no concurrent deviation. I have just multiplied this dx and dy. And while doing this, I cannot see any positive sign since positive signs means either both are positive both are negative that means both are concurrent but since I cannot see any positive sign the concurrent deviation is zero right I hope you understood how I am getting this value n and the value c n is nothing but total compare so total six are there out of six nowhere you are getting positive number positive means positive sign means both are same since I am not getting anywhere positive, that means there is zero concurrence. Now, if I apply the formula, the formula was R equal to plus or minus square root of plus or minus 2C minus N by N. So what I do, I ignore the sign for now. This plus or minus represent that if we have a plus or minus inside, I should write the same. So first of all, I do 2 into C. 2 into 0 is 0, 0 minus 6 divided by 6 and square root of it. So in the numerator I have minus 6 divided by 6, so it is going to be square root of minus 1. Since I cannot take square root of negative number, I have to take this minus sign outside. I get minus square root of 1, so it is minus 1. So minus 1 means what? Basically in a coefficient of correlation minus 1 means perfectly negative but I would say I cannot conclude it is perfectly negative from this but I can conclude it is definitely going to be some kind of a negative relation since I cannot rely on this magnitude of 1 I will say it is definitely going to be negative that is for sure but the value of R in method of concurrent deviation is minus 1. Hey. So this is nothing but how we calculate this. This is a detailed solution. Don't worry. You don't have to do this much in your examination. But before I give you one more example, a trick way, a easy way to solve. Before that, I want to give you some important points. The important points are like this. Few important observations. First of all is, suppose if I had six observations, but I can compare only five out of it. Why? Because the first observation we cannot compare. So if I say number of observation compared and number of observation given has a difference of one. 
So I can say the number of observation is basically n plus 1. Because there is a one observation which I cannot compare. So total compared plus 1 will be total number of observation. Right? Total compare plus 1 will be total number of observation. So formula is nothing but n plus 1. And what do we observe just now? If the value of c was 0, if the value of c was 0, what do I find out? No concurrent deviation. So they are not going together. They are always going opposite. That is known as a negative. So it is minus 1. If I say if all of them are concurrence, if c value is n, then I would say all of them are going together. That means it is perfectly positive. So r value must be plus 1. And if I say half of them are going together, half of them are not going together. That means out of total n, if I find out the c value is n by 2. So half of them is concurrent, half of them is not. Then I would say the value of r will be 0. Okay. So these are the three important points. And fourth one is this, which can be asked in the examination. Okay. So you need to be very much clear about when the value of c is n, it is perfect positive. When the value of c is 0, the r is minus 1. The value of c is half of the observation are concurrent, the value of r will be 0. Right? So this is an important point that you need to remember. And after this, I will tell you one example, how quickly you can do because you said, sir, it is quickest, but how quick is just observe here. So what I need to do, I just need to write the sign. Suppose this is an examination, how I will solve this problem. What I will see, I'll just try to see it like for the first, I will just quickly see what is the difference. If it is increasing, I'll write plus. If it is decreasing, I'll write minus. From this to this, it is decreasing minus, decreasing minus, increasing plus, uh, decreasing minus, increasing plus, decreasing minus, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, decreasing. The same goes over here. Decreasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, and in the final, I have increasing. So what I will check now, what I will do, I'll first think about n. N is what? How many comparison I have made? So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you all observe, total 11 observation are given, I can do the 10. So in the examination, if you find out total 11 observation are there, directly think about n as 10. Because for the 11, you cannot compare for the first, so there are 10. And out of this, how many places I can see the concurrent? Concurrent means same. So I can observe, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, same observation, plus plus, minus minus, so this is 4. This is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, but this is not. So out of 10, I can see on the 9 places I have a concurrent deviation, the value of R is 9. If I want to use the formula, sorry, value of the C is nothing but 9. To get the value of R, what I'll do? First of all, in the calculator, 2C, so 9 into 2, 18, 18 minus 9 into 2, 18, 18 minus you will do 10, n value divided by 10, that is 0 0.8 square root. So you will do 0 0.8 square root, the answer is 0 0.89, it is in the positive, which is option C, right, which is option C. So this is how you have to do the calculation part, right, uh, I hope you understood now, and this is a simple and a Quickest method, as we can see, for the examination, you just have to do the plus minus and get the value from the calculator. Right. So we will see you in the next video. If you have any doubt, difficulty, be free to ask in the comment sec section. I hope you like this video. Share, like, subscribe and do 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, and see you in the next video. <laughs>